find those solutions to the differential equation y triple prime minus 4y double prime plus 5y prime minus 2y equals 0. First step, the characteristic polynomial. Here, the primes become exponents, the y term becomes our constant term. We get r cubed minus 4r squared plus 5r minus 2. We set this equal to 0, we look for the roots. The crux is going to be factorization. Now, we could try some small numbers. One will be a hit. Then we could break this down to a linear and a quadratic. And we can solve the quadratic using the quadratic equation. That's the quick way. Let's go through the long formal way just to remind ourselves of some factoring tricks. All right, first one. Our polynomial has integer coefficients, so we can apply the rational root test. What that says is, if we have all integer coefficients, then the rational roots, if there are any of them, are going to be of the form plus minus divisors of the two divided by the divisors of the leading term. So it's going to be a one, so there's only one divisor, which is one. Possible rational roots then are going to be plus minus one, plus minus two. We check those, so we just stick these into our polynomial, and we notice we'll get hits with one and two. So you'll note that's two roots, but I have a cubic polynomial, so I need to find that last root. So let's break down our polynomial step by step. With our roots, we can long divide x minus a root into our polynomial to break things down. A better way to go is synthetic division. Since we're using x minus a constant, synthetic division works. If I had higher powers, say x squared or x cubed or bigger, then we can't use synthetic division. But that's not the case here. How's it work? I'll have x minus a constant. So in this case, we're gonna use the root one. First row, I'm gonna load in the coefficients of our polynomial. So we start with the highest power, so I'll have x cubed, x squared, x, constant term. Next, we're gonna add down columns going from left to right. Okay, so we add down, I'll get a one here. And then the idea is gonna be for the items in the third row, you multiply by our constant, move it to the middle row, next column. So I'll have one times one is one, minus four and one is minus three. 1 times minus 3 goes here as minus 3. Add down, 5 minus 3 gives me a 2. 1 times 2 gives me a 2 here. Then minus 2 and 2 gives me a 0. At this point, we need to interpret. This says our original polynomial equals x minus our constant, so x minus 1, times, and then the bottom we're going to have a polynomial. So if this starts with x cubed in the first row, this starts with an x squared. So I'll have x squared minus 3x plus 2, and then the 0 here is going to be the remainder. So this will be plus remainder 0. We already know it divides cleanly, so that's a good check. Okay, so that's our first factorization. Let's do another. So we know we have a root 2, so let's try x minus 2 into our quadratic. I'm going to put 2 here, load the coefficients into the first row, so that's 1 minus 3, 2, and we proceed. 1 comes down, times 2, gives me a 2, goes in the next column, minus 3 and 2 gives me a minus 1, multiply by 2, I get a minus 2, 2 minus 2 gives me a 0. We interpret, so our quadratic equals x minus 2, and then bottom row says x minus 1. So our factorization of the polynomial, the cubic, is x minus 2 times x minus 1 squared. So our roots are going to be 2 and 1 with multiplicity 2. So that means 1 appears twice. How do we get our solutions? So our root 2 is going to contribute constant times e to the 2x. If I have a root with a multiplicity, what happens? We're going to have, okay, if you have multiplicity n, you're going to take e to your root times x times x to 
your multiplicity minus one. And then you throw in all powers of x that are lower than that one. So here, our multiplicity is a two. So I have to throw in, okay, we'll have e to the x, but then I have to take one down from the multiplicity, which is a one. So we have constant x e to the x. Then going down by one just gets me a b e to the x. So those are all our solutions. Let's just check one piece of this. How about we check the x e to the x part? All right, so y is x e to the x. We take the derivative, what happens? We have a product rule. So it's gonna give me e to the x plus x times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. Okay, we continue. Second derivative gives me two e to the x plus x e to the x. Then third derivative is three e to the x plus x e to the x. Now we just work our constants in. So we had y triple prime minus 4y double prime plus 5y prime minus 2y should give me zero. We do our bookkeeping over here and you'll notice, okay, you go down each column, you get a zero, so the check works.